Boom. All right, we can begin. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Another 1113 video short for you today. We're not going to get into much, but I want to answer a question that's came up in the comment section a lot lately, and it's the perfect time to do it considering we've just finished laying in both of the shafts for the transmission. So a lot of people, I bet 20 different people at least, have asked, what about that splined end on the back of the counter shaft way in there? What goes on that? You didn't mention anything about it. It looks like something goes on that. Well, what goes on that? Why the 4B7980 rear power takeoff group, of course. We can go see what one looks like, so long as you're not against following me out to one of the storage sheds, so. Deal? Okay, it's a deal. Okay, past the Super M, past the pile of deer stands, past all this other stuff. Just behind the seed cleaner, we have a crate. All right, and then just past that radiator fan, we have, well, all right, coupling right here. And what is said rear PTO attachment for Caterpillar D2? That's probably the best view I can give you guys right now. You can vaguely see the outline of the rear diff cover pattern on there we have this shaft sticks out of it joins to this coupling you can see a triple dog on the end for engagement and here we'll do it one-handed but we'll take this red plug out come on bear with me there's that spline pattern that fits the back of the counter shaft in the d2 so there's your coupling between the two that's what goes on that counter shaft and we put the plug back in there's a little thrust washer in there i don't want to lose there we are that's what powers, boom, right there, the rest of that D2 PTO. So, see engagement lever for it right here. Also, just beyond the crate, we might have this Cat Factory angle drive. It might be 300 pounds of Peoria awesomeness. It might fit an RD6, it might already have new bearings, and it just may have new seals. And the owner possibly is just waiting for time to give it a home. That also might be the correct factory paper pulley for the output there. But on the other side of that, we've got yet another cat angle drive belt pulley. And that would be this 4B7948 belt pulley drive group. Now this is a rather interesting angle drive attachment because it attaches directly to this rear power takeoff group. It actually bolts right to the face of the housing and the six spline shaft is what engages with that angle drive and puts the power out to the belt pulley. Interesting story about that particular angle drive belt pulley. I purchased that at a swap meet, oh man, 10 years ago, maybe even more. And I had a heck of a time finding the PTO drive that went under it to provide the power. Basically, I had the cart, but I couldn't find the horse. So once again, shout out to my buddies, John Diesel and Digger. They provided us with that six plane PTO, specifically for the 1113 project. And I had looked for years for one of those things, came up with nothing. So once again, great job, guys. And one last thing, we're kind of getting off on a tangent here, but there is another very interesting attachment in the back of the parts manual here for the D2. It's this uh, 4B7979 power lift group. And yeah, see, it bolts to the rear end right there, right where that PTO would. There's where the uh, coupling is for the back side of the counter shaft. And... I'm still kind of in the dark as to how this really works. You can see there's a worm gear in the bottom, meshes with a large round gear in the casting, and we have, it looks like a large cam right here with some kind of an arm on the back, and it's all mechanical, but if anybody has any experience with one of these lifts, or has one, or has used one, post up in the comments section because I'm really interested in what something like this would do i've never actually seen one other than these diagrams here so but anyway that pto drive that belt pulley that's just uh, a couple examples of accessory items that i've been basically keeping for the right d2 for the right project and they're going to go on 1113 i've got a bunch of other stuff too but you know uh, probably about the only thing 1113 is not going to have on it is going to be a blade uh, i have always had the intention of keeping this just a drawbar tractor 
Besides, I'm planning on putting track pads on this thing. They're so wide you wouldn't fit a blade on it anyway. I think it's going to look really cool, but that's still a ways off. We have to, you know, get the rest of the chassis built for that first. So anyway, I wanted to kind of touch on that whole what goes on the back of the counter shaft thing since it was kind of fresh in everyone's mind and we, you know, we were just kind of still in that area. So again, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for the views. Thanks for, thanks for the likes. Sorry. I just about made it again. I, one of these days, I'll, I'll, I'll have a perfect run. And just hope to see you guys back again. Lots left to go on the D2 here. Lots of good things coming up. Please come back.